So there's a really important area I want to discuss, and this is working on the diaphragm. We've already produced several videos on releasing the diaphragm, one on some great exercises you can do, and the other one on the myofascial release. But I want to show you how we can reinforce these exercises you're doing when you come into the clinic. Okay, Mickey, I'm going to get you to uh, just take a deep breath in. Now, as Mickey's breathing in here, the diaphragm is going down. Exhale. Good. Now, the diaphragm is like a dome just below here. Take a deep breath in. So the lungs are forcing the diaphragm down. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to breathe out now. I'm going to go on the edge of the ribs and kind of go down here a bit. How are you doing there? Good. Back up. A little intense though? Yeah. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm just encouraging the diaphragm to move down. Back up. And down. Right down. Excellent. Okay. I will, now I'll change this and I want you to Take a deep breath in. Good. Now exhale. And I'm going to go underneath here. Okay, that one's a little more intense, isn't it? I'm actually not pushing very hard with my thumbs, but I'm actually going under and scooping under the ribs up under the diaphragm. Are you okay? <laughs> and down. Excellent. Okay, back up again. And down. Excellent. Now, the procedures we're doing are all about encouraging better motion within the diaphragm. The diaphragm is really an interesting structure because you have so many different structures attaching to this. People think of the diaphragm as just being in this area. In reality, the diaphragm attaches to numerous structures above and below, all the way from the pelvic floor right down underneath the ribs here. As you take a deep breath in, it's like a canister that moves down, breathe out, and comes up again. So we have connections between intercostal muscles on the ribs. The hip flexors actually attaches posteriorly, it attaches right up into the diaphragm. The abdominal muscles are also involved in terms of inspiration and expiration. So what we want to do is do everything we can to encourage this. I'll show you another thing we can do that works really well. Okay, Mickey, take a deep breath in. And as she breathes out, I'm gently pushing in. And I'm not allowing the ribs to come out that much now. Breathe in again. And up. Open your mouth wide. Good. Breath in again. And up. On this one, I'm going to get you to breathe in really hard at the end here. Okay, breathe in hard. Good. <laughs> kind of a strange feeling, isn't it? Yeah. But I'm actually <laughs> using a recoil motion to reinforce the breathing. Okay, now take a deep breath in. I feel like it's like infinitely open now. It's, it's open cool. Yeah. There's one other recoil procedure I want to show you, which I use quite often in clinic, and this works really well. Okay, I'm going to take my hands, put them together, and I'm going to go on Mickey's sternum here. Now, you're going to breathe through your mouth, take a deep breath in, breathe out, deep breath in again, open wide with your mouth, and out, deep breath in, out. Now breathe in really hard and fast. Good. <laughs> so so weird. It is because we're forcing the lungs to expand really fast and it pushes the diaphragm down as it contracts and it's really interesting. Okay. So as you take your breath in really, really fast. Good. Now how does that feel? It's really, it feels open. I feel like I can get more oxygen in. That's really cool. Excellent.